Hey y'all. How y'all doing? The title of this is called I Had a Moment. Uh you know, I'm in uh in the ATL. I've been coming like back and forth. I got a little dedicated route right now. And uh I get a lot a lot of time off, so I get a chance to sightsee and check things out. So today, you know, I was in the grocery store uh, getting some stuff for the truck. And um, I'm using, you know, my corporate card. And uh lady, she sits up here and tells me that she wanted to know what my purchase order number is. And I'm like, purchase order number for what? She's like, oh, because this is a corporate card. You need to have your purchase order number. And before I knew it, I was like, no, I don't. I was like, that's my car. That's my company. What you talking about? <laughs> and when I walked out, I felt so empowered. I felt so empowered. I, you know, you. I always say, you know, owner, operator, owner, operator. You know, I always say, oh, I'm trying to get my company off the ground. You know, I'm, I'm just a baby. I'm just a baby uh, owner, operator. But today I felt so so freaking empowered i felt empowered i, I mean if y'all could just understand just with just saying those words it just finally sunk in that you're doing something you're doing something for you you know you're doing something that benefits you not benefiting other people but benefiting you and that was very powerful. That was very, very, very empowering to me. And uh, I just came, I just wanted to come on here because I just, I don't know, I just was like, Ugh! you know, I just, I don't know, I just had that like light bulb, like moment just hit me, you know, I'm doing something that's like life changing for myself and my family. When I came out here, my only, like thought process was to make a difference for my children and my grandchildren that is like the second time that happened what does that say your hair looks very lovely oh thank you thank you i finally got it done i finally got out of my shell i finally stopped hiding in my truck and i actually uh found a loctician in the atl i don't know this is like wakanda being out here to me <laughs> This is like Wakanda. Um, but thank you. Thank you for um, for saying that. But I, I felt like really empowered. And I'm sorry, my phone cut off because somehow they it just said that it got real hot. And I don't know why. It's been doing that. I don't know. It could be this charger that I got it on. It's one of those pads. So I don't know. Maybe the pad and, and me doing this is just affecting it. But, um, yeah, so I don't know what, when I started, when, when I, when I came out here, I came out here to, to, to let my, to be the example in my family, you know, um, to, that it's okay to take a leap of faith and go out there and make a way for yourself. Cause you know, my family is like a lot of other families out here. We you know we go to school and we learn to work for other people instead of going out here and making your own, you know, paving your own way in life. And that's all I'm trying to do is is just show something different so that you know, it's sort of like instilling uh seeds. I'm instilling seeds into uh my children and my grand into and my grandchildren, future and present you know, grandchildren and stuff like that. So uh, I just want to be the example, you know, uh, you know, that you can do it, you know. So it's a lot of sacrifice right now. I ain't got none. I ain't got none, nothing, nothing. I got bills. <laughs> I got bills. Yeah, that's all I got right now, bills. So, you know, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm 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 a grow, you know. I have dreams. I have aspirations. I watch a lot of the other um, YouTubers out here, um, 
I watch them grow. I see how I see how they move, and and it, and it's a uh, and it was a beautiful thing to see. Uh, I know I just watched one of the videos of um, I don't know. I, I know it was it was a bunch of the uh, real big YouTubers, uh, you know, uh, Party Hard, Trucker Brown. Uh, The Rankins, Jay Rich, King Rod, Drod, Drod, I believe it is he's called, and I know it, I just can't think of it, you know. But they all were together in the ATL. That's weird because I was here in the ATL. I was like, where were they at? I would have loved to see that. That was just like so cool, you know, just to see a bunch of. Uh, you know, uh, black kings and queens get together and everything like that. So, you know, that was, that was like, that was cool to see. But I don't know. Like I said, ATL is like Wakanda to me. You know, I, I know, you know, they, they say, you know, they had a bad things they say, but they say the same thing about Chicago, you know. So, you know, I don't, I don't buy into it, but, you know, I see the good. I, I see those little fancy sport cars, you know, and I see those little chocolate, chocolate heads in there, and that makes me like smile because I ain't used to seeing it. <laughs> you know, I see those nice big old fancy homes, like in the cut. And I see little black kids out there playing. You know, I, I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, where the hell am I at? You know, and I had that moment, you know, and uh. You know, it, I don't know. So, so far, I've been out here. This is actually the first city I got to play in. I got to play. I got to hang out, have some cocktails, talk to some people, you know, do some things. Got on Booksy, got my hair done, let somebody, you know, in my in my element, you know, she hooked me up. I like it. Uh, and stuff like that. So, Tomorrow I go to the gym because every time I come here, I get 34 hour reset. So I go here, I go to New York, I come back, 34 hour reset. I, go, I do the same thing. So I kind of come back and forth. Um, so I think tomorrow I'm going to go find a gym, go get a massage, find an IV therapy place. You know, because I know that y'all keep talking about the eyes. So I need to keep myself hydrated. So, uh, that was it. Uh, I just wanted to just jump on here. Huh? Sounds good. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to jump on because I just had that proud. I, that, I mean, I just, I had a proud moment. And, you know, I, if you can't cheer for yourself, then, you know, I'm not one. I don't let other people cheer for me. I like to. To, I got to be my own cheerleader because I got to be my own motivator, you know, to keep myself moving and and so that I don't get deterred or distracted, you know, or anything like that. And I, so far, I've been doing so good, you know. So, I've just been doing so, so good. Now, all I got to do is learn how to be consistent, consistent weekly. That's the million mile man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. Yep. And um, I just gotta learn how to be consistent right now with this load board. Cause I'm not I'm I'm fluctuating like crazy. You know, one week I ain't making nothing. I make enough just to clear the truck, you know, and my bills and my fuel. And then the next week, you know, I bring home a lot of money. And then the next week, I ain't bringing home Jack. So I just got to, I got to learn to keep it consistent. I have to be patient. Yeah. I'm going to be patient. I am. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be patient. You know, I, I, give, my, I give myself, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait it out. I'm, I'm not going to jump ship. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to sit here where I'm at for about a year. That's the goal. I'm gonna sit here a year and and see what happens. Cause I've only been here three months. So I don't think that's long enough for me to be like, I ain't making no money here 
and I'm a bounce. I don't think that's long enough. I, I think I have to first learn, learn, like I just found my first dedicated route. It took me three months to find a dedicated route out here. Oh, thank you, a new subscriber. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> I always said when I get my first thousand, I'm a twerk. <laughs> My daughter was like, don't do that. I was like, I'm a twerk. I'm a twerk on my first thousand. I'm going to be happy. Yeah. Thank you so much. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, I'm trying to stay patient. I'm trying to stay focused. I know Rome ain't built in a day. It, you know, you have to grow. You have to build. So, you know, I, the, this truck is supposed to be paid off in two, two years. Well, 23 months. Don't ask me how I got this deal. Everybody keeps saying, how'd you get a truck that's going to be paid off in 23 months? I looked up. Somebody felt very, 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 very sorry for my black ass. And uh, I got uh, a three-year-old truck with 100,000 miles. And I get to pay it off in 23 months. I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, I don't ask no questions. Uh, he just said, do you want this truck? You ain't got to put no money down. He felt sorry for the cost because I got screwed the last time. I know it was. I think it is a good deal. I, I really do. I really do. I think this is a good deal. So, you know, I just keep making my payments. I'm, I'm putting money in my maintenance account every week. I'm putting money in my account uh, to take care of the note, like for the weeks that I'm off or out or whatever, you know, I want to make sure I don't fail, you know, so I, I'm, uh, I'm taking the right precautions, uh, to make sure, cause they keep telling me this is your truck. Cause I'm, I'm still scared. Cause like, you know, I was in a lease purchase before and when I decided to move the truck, remember I told y'all they took, they took my truck and I had just put all that money into my truck and they took the truck. They said the truck had to stay with the company, and then they told me I had to go back and drive with them, company driver for 40 cents a mile. <laughs> I'm still pissed off about that, but, you know, that's what it is. So, I don't know. This one, they, they, everybody keeps telling me, this is your truck. This company, they ain't got no, uh, <laughs> there's, there's, like, this is not one of those, uh, like, walk away leases. You know, this is your truck forever. To, to the joker pay it off you know so you know i'm still i'm still trying to get comfortable i'm still not comfortable i won't do any changes i'm not doing anything i kind of keep it everything the same i'm not personalizing it just yet i wanted to like change the wording on the doors and make it like more personal more artsy like because i saw somebody else from the same company i'm at and uh they had theirs in big bold like uh, I think it's called um, Cosmic. <laughs> it's Cosmic. It was. It's Cosmic, and, and and it looked so much better than these little little rinky dinky words I got. It's just so mundane, just so you know regular, you know. So I'm as the art. The artist in me really wants to like express myself on this truck. I'm one of those people. I will express the hell out of my truck. Y'all would know my truck if it was rolling down the street because it would definitely be twanky. Twanky. Yep. Everybody says I should have changed the name of my YouTube page to Trucking with Twinky. But it's Twinky. You know, but I say Twinky. But it's Twinky. Uh, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. I've changed it so many times. I'm still trying to find myself when it comes to my channel. But it's okay. I don't know. So let me know how y'all feel. Should I change the name to Trucking with Twinky? You know, because that's 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 what everybody know me as. I've been that since birth, so everybody knows me as Twinkie, and they're like, "Why you just didn't use your name?" You know, I was like, "I don't know, I don't know." So I don't know. Uh, but let me know how y'all feel about that. Should I change the name, Trucking with Twinkie? Do y'all like that? Did that sound catchy? You know, Trucking with Twinkie, um, with two E's. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, but that's it. I don't want to keep this too long, you know. Peace, love. <laughs>
Peace, love, and hair grease, y'all. <laughs>